In 1996, with the competition already in the past, I picked up the camera and asked my friends about their song. We toiled over parts of it for long periods of time, especially between me and Tina, it seemed like about the lyrics and stuff. Even though it was sort of toiling with, with little spurts of inspiration, I thought, but um, we decided that the second part wasn't long enough, so we needed to add something to it. Then I kind of wanted to like do something kind of funny and humorous and something that you can understand the words because I mean if we're saying fuck the government then we should really say fuck the government, you know? So we wrote this like silly little thing in the beginning that we sang with the country train. We went into the studio where they recorded the two-part song. We're the daughters of the country and the mothers of the victims. We've been hooked on the government since the day we were born. Been drinking up the welfare and drowning in the system. I don't want to be your woman with violence and porn. Let's try lighting up the red tape and burning down the nation. Inflation, constipation, white male dominates no more. Then shooting up the Congress, injecting segregation. If you're giving us a piss test, we'll be pissing out this song. them to elaborate on the different themes in their lyrics. Sitting down and, and writing these lyrics, it's like they're really to the point, obviously, and sort of sarcastic, and someone might think of them as revealing or, or just spouting or something initially, but I wonder even if I really believe all that, like about white male domination and <laughs> things like that, I don't know if I'm just a, being paranoid and, and uh, reactionary and negative, but I also do believe there's a time and a place for all those feelings that need to be voiced. <laughs> You're a monkey woman. Boundaries, no limitations, you know. 